Welcome back everyone and this is actually the first video that I'm ever recording on vlogs and clogs and yes if you're wondering I am in clogs and today it is snowing in the Tyne Valley and I'm actually here in uh, Prado which is where there is this nice Norman looking castle um, and some interesting facts about this castle is that the family who still um, well they used to live there and they are still the Dukes, the Earls of Northumberland, are the Percy family. And actually, during the reign of Henry IV, one of the Percys tried to overthrow Henry IV, and his name was Harry Hotspur. And he was what Henry Percy was his real name, but Harry and Henry often get conflated the names in history, like with Henry Tudor, for example. So he's a famous Percy as well. Obviously, you've got the Percys during the Wars of the Roses, they were important. Obviously, you have the Earl of Northumberland, who was at um, Bosworth battlefield, but he didn't commit his troops to help Richard III out. But yeah, so this castle as well, even earlier, during the time of William the Lion of Scotland, this area, the Tyne Valley, Northumberland as a whole really, was contested between Scotland and England, with various powers actually claiming it as their own. But Prudder Castle, Prudder was the only place throughout most of, I think all of Northumberland, the only castle in all of Northumberland which was never taken by the Scots, which is quite a big feat considering it's you know it's not a huge castle it is obviously on its nice hill and you can see the the moat here which is surprisingly well preserved all of it actually um, as castles go of course there is now a modern family living there you can see those windows clearly aren't 13th century um, and actually a funny story goes that the Scots had their catapult lined up uh, it was probably a bit further back than right here where there's now the wall and uh, the woods and that they fired their catapult at Prada Castle and that when they fired it went straight up, was a while away, and then came straight back down and landed right on top of the catapult, destroying it. And the Scots thought, eh, Prudo, you know, it's an insignificant village, let's just not bother. And they never came back, and Prudo remained as the only one in Northumbrian hands, in the Percy hands. So thanks for watching, this has been uh, the first little clip, and I'll get some more of the Tyne Valley covered in snow.